Hey there, Rachel Lucas here. Today I'm going to show you how to create a digital bathroom pass. This is great to help you keep track of your students without you having to actually write a pass and also you'll have a record of it. So it will save you time in the long run. So the way it works is we're going to create a Google form just like this one and what it does, let me show you, it's going to automatically capture the responses and put them in, right here in a spreadsheet so you can keep track of who's going to the bathroom when it puts a time stamp and you can sort this by name or you can sort it by class period so i'm going to go ahead and show you how to set this up so first we're going to go to google drive we're going to say new, we're going to create a form first. So we're going to go to more Google Forms. So let's start there. Let's give our form a title. So let's say and our first question, we're going to go ahead and um, say name and we want to leave it short answer. We are going to make this required. We're going to copy and last name. And notice it's already required. By the way, let's go ahead and give this form a name. All right, so now we're going to add a new question and I'm going to say class period and I want to do the drop down option okay so let's say you want to say first period second period third period etc okay so now Let's go ahead. By the way, we can customize this form. Let's say you don't like the color of this. You can pick a different color. Let's say you don't like this plain background. You can go ahead and pick from an illustration. There's lots of things to choose from. So you know what? I'm going to pick. Let's go with this one. All right, here we go. Okay, so now we can preview our form by clicking this little eyeball and see what it's going to look like. Okay. And to share this form, if you wanted to share it, we're going to share it in a little bit because we're going to do that to create a QR code. These are your options. You could email, link, or embed this code on your website. All right. So now we've got our form. Let's go ahead and look how we're going to create a similar digital pass right here we're going to use google slides to do that so we're going to go back to google drive go to new google slides i'm going to get rid of this and i'm going to get rid of this okay so i'm going to go back i'm going to copy this I don't want to have to type. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to move this around. I'm going to add an image by clicking image here. And before I do that, uh, by the way, you can search images right here on Google Slides. So let's say you want to, I don't know, student for instance. It will come up with these free images for you guys. But I'm going to upload an image. And there it is. All right, so now let's say that I want to add a border like I have in my other one. 
right here. I'm going to show you how to do that. You can come to right here, shapes, and I'm going to do a square. Now, to make the border right here, we're going to go to border color, and you can make it any color that you want. And this right here makes it the thickness. So you can do that. This would give you different options as far as what kind of border do you want. Let's do it. Let's leave it like that. I'm going to change it back to black. And right here, we need to get rid of this fill color, right? So the way that we're going to do that is by clicking here, and I'm going to say transparent. And that's it. So now I'm just going to adjust this. All right. Well, I'm not going to make it perfect, but you get the idea. So now we want to add a QR code like we have right here. So let's go ahead and find a QR code maker. So basically, I'm just going to Google and I'm going to go to this one right here. I'm going to visit the website. And now we're going to take the link of our form. We're going to share it. And we're going to take the link. We can even shorten it. Now we're going to copy that. And we're going to paste it right here. Where it says URL. So we're going to paste that. We're going to say save. And we can give it a name. So. Something like that. And there, it's going to download it for us. Okay, so now we're going back to our slide and we're going to add that image. There it is. I'm going to move it around. And so far, let's add a text box saying, hey, scan me. And I'm going to make this just a little bigger. And if you don't like the font, you can play with it. So. To make an impact. So anything here is customizable, guys. All right, now let's add an arrow. So let's go back to shapes and arrow. And you can make it as you can notice how it did the dots. You can change that if you want. So to a solid line, and I can fill it in if I want. Actually, I like it like this. So that's it. So basically what you would do is you would print this by going to File, Print. You can also download it if you like. But that is it. That is how you create a digital bathroom pass. This is great to print and put it on your wall again rather than having to keep track of a pass. Um, this will save you time. You can also get the spreadsheet and keep track of how many times a student's going to the bathroom and maybe they're abusing their bathroom privileges or maybe how long they went, that kind of thing. So it's a great little neat way to have students go to the bathroom. Well, I hope you found this useful. If you did, I'd love to hear from you. Leave me a comment and make sure to check out our free Facebook uh, Facebook group. It's called Tech for World Language Teachers. We have an awesome growing community of lots of wonderful teachers. We'd love for you to join us. Thank you so much.